The second is self-confidence. If we lack a surety of our ability, one is our worthiness. The two separate things, our worthiness and our ability. If I doubt my ability to succeed in any effort, then I'm not going to make the effort because I'm going to fear a mistake. I'm going to fear failure. In studies that we have made with persons, we realize that people fear failure more than death. I mean, there's nothing worse for a person is to, for others to see my failure, others to see my weakness, or my need, or my inability. So these are two main inner obstacles towards the flow of our power, our energy, towards the goals of our life. There are also physical causes, such as a lack of exercise, impure diet, a lack of proper breathing. All of these can create mechanical blocks in the flow of energy, so that because we have low energy level, then our creativity is lessened, our clarity of mind is lessened, and so also there are physical and energy blockages. But I would say that the main blockages are emotional. Now, as far as the emotional blockages are concerned, we're going to speak about them in detail as of next week as we get into the seminar on emotional uh, harmony. So what we need to do is, now there are various techniques available for freeing up this energy except for the emotional release which we're going to be discussing as of next week. There are exercises, physical exercises, breathing techniques, diet dietary guidelines, which uh, meditative techniques, techniques of relaxation, which can free up this energy flow. And there are advanced techniques which can open up a greater flow from the universal source into the system. But my opinion is that it is dangerous to open up this aperture before we have established harmony within the system. Because if I just open up with strong breathing techniques, or physical exercises, a large flow throughout the, the mental, the physical mental system, I'm just going to be creating more tension or more uh, uh, nervousness or anxiety or sleeplessness or negative emotions. So the first thing to do is to begin to remove the blockages, to work on getting free from self-doubt, from lack of self-confidence, guilt, fear, all of these emotions which may cause the energy to function in a negative way when this increased energy comes into our system, begin to close up these holes through which energy is being lost, is to put our dietary guidelines into harmony, lessen the amount of hours we're speaking each day, reduce the amount of anxiety and fear, uh, to cultivate a certain sense of inner satisfaction, find our goal in life, and after we do those three things, then we begin to perform advanced exercises, which begin to allow greater amounts of energy into the system. It will not be lost through worthless activities, it will not be blocked and, and held up in the system, and it will flow towards the purpose of life. Just getting in touch with the purpose of life is an energizing experience. Uh, just as falling in love with someone is an energizing experience, falling in love with a purpose is an energizing experience. And we can understand that uh, in terms of a, a wire. This wire has the capability of giving flow to millions of electrons. But there are two prerequisites for those electrons, for that energy to flow. One is that it's plugged into the, the source, and the other is that it's plugged into the purpose. 
if I have this wire plugged into the source and we just cut it here and it has no purpose, it's not connected to any kind of appliance, not even one electron is going to flow. So someone can be connected to this source but have not found his purpose in life and nothing's going to flow. He's going to feel, why should I wake up in the morning? Why, why should I be happy about anything? Purpose gives meaning to, purpose, to persons in life. On the other hand, if I have a purpose and I'm working with, someone I, with something I love, but I'm not connecting with the source, I'm not meditating daily or praying or doing some kinds of techniques which connect me with that source of energy, I may exhaust myself completely in the purpose and lose my source of energy. So we need to be connected to both points in order to be in harmony. On the one hand, with the source, through daily meditation, exercises, breathing, prayer, relaxation, whatever helps each person. And then secondly, with the purpose of our lives. So that in a sense is the goal of this seminar. Uh, and the, for those who go on to the second and third and fourth here, this, the main goal is finding out why I have incarnated and how I can align my life and all the details of my life with my life purpose and gradually remove more and more whatever is an obstacle to that. Now, in order for you to analyze your energy state, I would like you to look at page number 11 in the sheets that you have, which is the observation of bioenergy flow. It's not in that set, in the previous set. This is the questionnaire number three which says, observe your energy level throughout the day and record what you observe every evening. A. When, which are the hours of high energy? Which are the hours of low energy? After observing your energy levels for one week, indicate on this chart your usual energy level at various times of the day. Use the symbol plus for high energy, zero for medium energy, and minus for low energy. And you have a chart here which has from 6 a.m. going upwards until then ending at 5 a.m. Observe yourselves. Now, it may not be the same each day, but I think that after a week or more, you begin to observe some patterns of your energy behavior. Why do we want to do this? Because we can begin by observing this to discover what factors are causing our energy to become low or non-harmonious. Because it's also a problem to have too much energy and not being able to guide that energy or express it creatively. And then we may also want to have, after having observed that, employ some techniques just before the time when our energy is usually low which will re renew our energy level. We may want to do a relaxation or a shoulder stand and a plow or some exercise or some breathing techniques. We may want to sleep a half an hour because it's really not worth functioning at a lower level of energy than we, uh, than we should have in order to function effectively, happily, lovingly, creatively. It's better not to function at all for 15 minutes, stop, rejuvenate ourselves and continue. Many people just continue and they live a lower quality of life than they could live. If they just stopped for 10 minutes or stopped for half an hour, did some kind of exercises, breathing techniques, which each of you will have to discover what helps you most, and then continue. You won't lose time. I hear many people say, I don't have time. Energy is time. Clarity of mind is time. And we can do in 10 minutes with high energy and high clarity that which we could do in two hours with low energy and low clarity.